This is your boy bringing the freshest commentary as always. Bam, baby. And uh, I want to give a special shout out to my mate in the squad, Mamba, who's going through a tough time. All the best, but yeah. So I'm going to start off this commentary by saying someday, somehow, I'll make one, one of the greatest introduction at every video of mine, but not today, sadly. But welcome back again to my channel, guys. I appreciate all the likes, but it was not too successful. Too successful. Are the views count though but uh, I guess because it's not Call of Duty but do not worry this time it is a competitive real competitive tree versus tree search and destroy on Warhawk yes Call of Duty goes I recorded this gameplay about three days after the first ever historical LAN event in September I think this is also my last gameplay to have ever recorded from the PlayStation 3 I thought Destiny would be like a nice scenery for you guys to watch but I guess it was not. Ha. Compared with FIFA, I had uh, more views on uh, on my first FIFA video than uh, the Destiny gameplay that I uploaded about a week ago. I guess I should actually concentrate more on Call of Duty because like I said before my channel that I'll be uploading strictly competitive Call of Duty videos, but uh, you know, things happen. Um, but I am trying, trying really hard to play Call of Duty Ghost again for this whole weekend and to record some videos before Monday and then try to get other videos uploaded before before getting day zero edition of uh, Advanced Warfare on Monday, hopefully. So I'm trying my best stick on that plan um i think i have murmured too much about what i'm going to do so today i'll be talking about how competitive call of duty has changed the community here in malaysia so differently and advanced warfare i remember the time when i stepped into the competitive scene in the late month of uh black ops 2 i saw a couple of match schedules from some tournaments hosted by asian gaming league Again, I was not too smart in competitive Call of Duty then, but I am now. But to be honest, it was really shallow. The teams then, only a few stayed till today. Well, we know which team stays, right? Uh, fame, well, fame, 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 and more fame. Um, you know, uh, with that being said, um, uh, there were loads of major roster changes um, one of the most noticeable changes that happened uh, this year it was evolution gaming with um, you know I guess I shouldn't tell you guys but I guess you guys already read the news on on their Twitter page right so that's that and now uh, you know when I started to host my own tournaments, it became much bigger and wider to everyone in the community. Since then, many teams changed to competitive teams and they start to learn every competitive move like what part to use and what not to use. If only you were me, you can see it how I see it. Plus, the Twitter drama is just priceless. Uh, one noticeable um, team that I've seen I've seen them on LAN before, but uh, I actually told them not to use uh, AK-12 or even the the thing starts with T and then ends with bomb, that stupid public bomb thing, which is not allowed in uh, like a uh, competitive Call of Duty. Um, I forgot the team name. Must be something. But uh, but they're on PlayStation 3 and they're starting to play more competitively now. I think I ha I haven't got a chance to play against them, but uh, that's all you guys need to know. Um, what is else? <coughs> what is else? You know the Twitter drama that that is just prices. I mean you can't even get that with uh. Even if you have a million dollar, a million dollar, 
you can't even get this Twitter drama. You know, it, it happens in every community, but that's that. Twitter drama happens every community. Not a brag, but uh, I made everyone notice of me and what I can do. The first tournament that I hosted was a 3 vs 3 search and destroy tournament which I recorded most of the matches and there will be a link down there in the d description to see uh, for you guys to see all, all of the videos that I recorded if you like. It was my first time hosting such tournament. I think it had 16 teams in it including the champions Fame Apex. The scheduling was difficult as there was one team from Maldives join. KMA Empire and it did not go very well in that bracket against EG Pure then. With that being said, the tournament was a one day tournament and received one or two complaints but the rest was good. Such tournament did not exist in the community at all. Ah, I was the brightest then. For the first time, I actually had prizes for the first place winning team which was PSN $30 codes. All legit codes all brought by myself. My second tournament that I hosted was all three game modes, uh, so as the last one, Domin Domination, Blitz, and uh, Search and Destroy. And uh, I was very ill at that weekend. I could only record some matches, and because of illness, I had the help from my team and some other people as well for recording down the scores and map counts. Again, link will be provided in the description. It was not a well organized tournament by me but what could I do when I was all ill and nothing but s being sick. Then coming to my last tournament not too long ago, I was sick free, I recorded most of the matches. It was not a 1 or 2 days tournament but I had to schedule it for like um, 2 or 3 weekends for teams that joined. If I remember correctly, this last tournament was fun to record and I even tried to put on my commentary skill while recording but I failed badly. However, the prizes were much more valued than my first one, $200 worth of PSN codes. Fame Apex won this tournament as well, unstoppable team and that is the family crew right there. To be honest, there's no other team in the community I would join. Fame is like my second family, we are all brothers, we treat each other like, well, I just say it. That's that and here are my thoughts for Advanced Warfare. I guess you guys have your own opinions and I have mine so when we'll stick with mine, I'm not going to listen to yours or read yours or anything. I think and I can feel the game is going to be a great game competitively though. I do not know about the pop side of this game but competitively and search and, search and destroy is back and we thought that search and destroy was wasn't going to make a you know a stay you know on this game but it is back baby yeah there'll be more search and destroy videos from me personally and you know where where to watch this channel baby yeah yeah and um I would not mind loving this game at all, literally. The thing we are going to miss is most definitely Dead Silence. If we don't have Dead Silence, it will be like, uh, I don't know, it's like, in Call of Duty Ghosts, you're not wearing anything metallic, not metallic, uh, metal or iron on your foot, so it doesn't sound like clampy and such, but uh, Advanced Warfare, you sound the sound horror is going to be unstoppable. It, you will sound horror at any time, especially in Search and Destroy, because y your your suit, your exo suit, is made out of metal, iron, whatever it is made out, and plus on the foot, there's like the metal thing, I believe. So it's going to be noisy, and y you can sound horror, I think, and um. Dead Silence, I'm going to miss you. Exo mood would not be the same, <laughs> literally. And um, I think, I think uh, we would get through it, like how we got used to play Domination for nine to ten months in Call of Duty Ghosts. Think about it, we hated Blitz, 
and we grow to play it with strategies so it makes sense to me but the footsteps in advanced warfare is loud again I'm just reminding you it's going to be loud extremely loud so you're going to catch all the footsteps noises you're going to kill the enemy and the enemy uh, team will kill you back that's it and um, we will go through this phase of advanced warfare do not worry trust me we will go through this phase I have seen the gameplays from Clayster my personal favorite AR Slayer and Nate Shot, my role model. This game is pretty awesome and interesting. Hardpoint returns and I hope it stays this time around with uh, Capture the Flat for eSports. Although the streaks are not that logical because we got brainwashed in Ghost, again we will learn to use the streaks again like um, I said again so many times like we did in Black Ops 2. Every Call of Duty is different. It is like school all over, all over again but if you think about it, learning is everyday thing so do not get upset about it. The jumps and the dodges are things we need to learn fast and quick. Advanced Warfare is a pretty fast paced game. What I learned from the videos uploaded by those two players is that it takes more bullets to kill an enemy. Probably no more one bullet kill, you know. Like uh, there are times where you use the vector, and then you get like a lucky kill, only one bullet registered to the enemy, and then he die instantly. That is one bullet kill, and hopefully it won't happen in advanced warfare. I'm crossing my fingers literally and touching wood. Hear that? I hope you guys hear that though. Um, you know. That's that. The most ridicul the most ridiculous thing that I have seen in Ghost is that one bullet kill from an SMG, but not a sniper. <laughs> the maps are wide and there is no place for campus at all, but um The maps are literally wide as in it is very spacey. I mean, it's not going to be very close, uh, close quarter. I I think there's one map which is quite close, like uh, something like Raid. I think it's Riot or something. But that is good for hot point, literally good for hot point, and you guys should play on that map a lot. Uh, I guess that is all I want to say. Please leave a like if you like this commentary and the content, and nonetheless, subscribe me, please. I'm begging for it. I would like to reach 100 subscribers before I die. <laughs> well, and I'm out. Peace. Search and destroy. Defend the objective, young. Oh shit, the bomb has been planted. The bomb ain't going off now. Player. It is.